Hello and welcome to my debugging Python scripts tutorial series. Now I know what you're all thinking, don't click away, but debugging, man, that's pretty lame. I know, debugging's not as sexy as maybe some other aspects of programming, as if programming is sexy. But debugging is arguably the most important programming skill that you can even have. Not only is it going to help you speed up how quickly you can actually figure out your errors, it's also going to help you understand what's really going on and to avoid those errors in the future. So debugging is going to help you learn new skills faster and progress as a developer much quicker. So in that sense, learning to, de to debug is very sexy and you want it. So let's get started. Now there's a decent list of built-in exceptions to Python. There's also like ways for module developers to make up an exception and like give it its own name kind of but it's actually done by raising an exception so it's still going to be a form of one of the exceptions that we'll cover it just might give a little bit of a snippet afterwards basically so it can be a little bit more helpful but as long as you understand these these main exceptions you should know immediately when you see that exception what is wrong and at least be on your way to figuring out how to fix it so there's two um, exception classes so to speak there's the base exception and that if you ever see it it's gonna look like this it should go purple on us yeah base exception and that is basically an all-encompassing of all built-in exceptions so um, actually that's all we're gonna say on base exception for now and the other one is just straight up exception and the difference between these is exception is non system exiting and um, also any user defined exception is going to fall under the category of exception and not base exception. Now don't confuse exception with thinking that uh, just because you hit an exception your sys it won't do what seems to be a system exit. If you hit an exception and you don't have any um, any pre-planned code, like if you don't have any exception handling built into your script, it will do basically a system.exit and it's going to exit. So, so don't think that just, you don't have to worry about it because it won't actually exit your system or don't think that, oh, this error exited my system, therefore it's not an exception. That's not really the case. So anyway, uh, let's go ahead and get into it. Um, the first exception that we're gonna cover is a name error. Now a name error is really, really simple. If you see it, it means your uh, variable is simply not defined. So let's say you have, um, oh, well, here's another little tidbit. Everything you code, um, anything that might throw an error, you should have a throw it in a try and accept loop, and then accept, you do an exception, and you label that as an E, and then you print out string E. Now what this will do for you is if you do hit an exception, not only will it allow the program to continue to run, it'll tell you what the exception is. Now you've probably seen this in a lot of my videos, so we aren't going to just end there, I'll show you a name error. So let's say in the try you've got some, you know, some code, I don't know, blah, and then you have x plus equals 1. Well, we've not actually defined x, so what's going to happen is when you run it, it says name x is not defined. But now hang on, you said you were going to give us a name error. Well, when you print uh, the exception, that's what it's going to look like. But if you want to see the really ugly text, we could just simply do x plus, plus equals 1. And now when we run this again, not only do we get that first x, we get the uh, other x here where you say name error x is not defined. So that's pretty logical. It says it's not defined. You should be able to be like, oh, it's not defined. But anyway, that's a name error. And immediately when you see name error, blah, 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 is not defined, you know you've, you've not defined your variable at all. Now, something that's fairly relatable to this is something that is actually an unbound local error, which is kind of like uh, this error, only it's going to say it's been referenced before an assignment. And uh, that's what we'll be talking about in the next video. Just wanted to cover something uh, along with this intro to the series. I hope you guys do stick around. Even if you decide you don't want to do the debugging tutorial now, something tells me you'll be back or you'll do, be doing a Google search at least for your errors. So um, highly suggest you continue on. But as always, thanks for watching. Thank you for your support, your subscriptions. And until next time.